Hi, Samuel Jordan Fitness here and welcome today to your 15 minute seated dumbbell upper body workout. This workout is perfect if you have limited mobility or if you're working through any sort of lower body injury issues. This workout is arranged in a hit style, so we'll be doing 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. So just for reference, I'm using two eight kilogram dumbbells for this. Grab whatever dumbbells you feel comfortable with and let's get ready to go. So first exercise, we're grabbing both dumbbells and doing a curl and press. Let's do both the curl and the press with a neutral grip, so palms will be facing the body. Great work. In a few seconds, when you hear the final beat, let's take a rest. So take a 20 second rest. Next up, we're going to be doing a bent over row. So here we hinge at the hips and we'll be facing the floor as we slowly with control row both the dumbbells up towards the body. Make sure you engage your abs and core here and keep a neutral spine to protect your lower back. Awesome job, let's take a rest in a few seconds. So we've got another 20 second rest. Next up, we're doing lateral raises. So with both dumbbells, we're going to raise each of the dumbbells up lateral to the body. This is a tough shoulder exercise. Make sure you lift with control. Great work, let's take a rest in a few seconds. So 20 second rest here, and then next up we're doing a press with tricep extension. So let's grab both the dumbbells, we're going to have them in a neutral grip and do a shoulder press. When we're at the top, we then lower those dumbbells down behind the head and then extend back up to work the triceps. Awesome job, We've got a rest coming up in a few seconds. So take a rest, next up we're doing front raise. So we're working those delts again. So with control, we're going to raise both of the dumbbells with a neutral grip, try and pause at the top and then lower back down. Thank you. 
great work again. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So let's take a rest here. We're doing alternate curls next. So we'll be doing a standard bicep curl and we're doing them one arm at a time. Make sure that you keep your elbow tucked into the body. Do these slow and with control. So let's make sure to squeeze the bicep as you momentarily pause at the top of each rep. Nice job. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So let's take a rest and next up we've got wood chop left to right. So put down one of your dumbbells. We only need one for this exercise. We're going to hold the dumbbell at either end. We're going to start with the dumbbell down towards our left hip. We then slowly with control raise it and take it to the other side of the body before going back down to the left hip. Great work. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So we've got a rest here and then we'll be doing the same on the other side. So with just one dumbbell and holding it at either end, we'll start with it near our right hip. And we're going to raise it up and take it to the other side of the body before lowering it back down to the right. Awesome work. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So we've got a rest here and then we're going to do alternate tricep extensions. So grab both the dumbbells for this next exercise. We're going to start with them both extended above the head and then one by one, we're going to lower just one of the dumbbells down behind the head before extending it back up. Those triceps will be burning now, mine definitely were. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So 20 second rest here and next we're doing shrugs. So holding both the dumbbells, we then just bring the shoulders up towards the ears. We're gonna pause there momentarily and then lower back down.
great work. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So take a rest. Next up, we're doing bent over reverse flies. So like earlier, we're going to hinge at the hips. Make sure to engage your core and keep a neutral spine. We're then going to lift the dumbbells up, but keep the arms straight with a slight bend in the elbows. Great work. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So take a rest. Next up, we're doing snatch with the right arm. So we only need one dumbbell for this. We're gonna start with it between our feet. And then with the right arm, we're gonna pick it up and then extend the arm fully above the head before lowering it back down. For an added challenge, don't let the dumbbell hit the floor between reps. Make sure to engage your core as you bend over in this part of the exercise to protect your lower back. Awesome job. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So take a rest. Next up, we're doing the same with the left arm. Grab a drink of water if you need. We are nearing the end of this workout. Only a few more exercises. You got this. Great work. Let's take a rest in a few seconds. So next up, we're doing hammer curls. Here, we grab both the dumbbells and then we're going to do bicep curls with a neutral grip. Let's do these slow and with control and squeeze the biceps at the top of the curl. Great job, let's take a rest in a few seconds. So this is the final exercise of this workout. We're going to do shoulder press. So grab both the dumbbells, palms facing forward, and then we're going to do shoulder press where we extend the arms above the head. Let's do these slow and with control. Last exercise, let's do this. Ten more seconds of work and then we're done. You got this.
And that is it for this workout. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then please subscribe to my channel, like the video and click the notification button. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you on the next workout.